Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Angels of Politics broadcast. I am the White Collar Goon, your host, your intermediary, your spiritual guide, which is nothing but the creative and artistic manifestation of Angels in Politics. Remember, you are the news and the universe revolves around you. Things don't happen to you. Things happen be because of you and that's quite a lot of power homegirl 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 i hope you can harness that power be very aware that once you level up and you ascend and you recognize your spiritual gifts and your powers and you have synthesized your powers and your spiritual gifts with your competence, with your intelligence, with your industriousness, aligns your mind, body, and soul, and you know what your purpose is. Oh my gosh. Be very aware that your life will never be the same. And, and, and once your life is never the same, you can't turn back to mediocrity. You can't turn back to your homegirls that, that, aren't, that aren't on the same shit that you're on. You can't turn back to some of those family members. I mean, always keep your family around but there's going to be some times where you're going to have to step away because they're going to see that you're self-actualized and they're going to see that you're beamed up and they're going to see that glow and they're going to see that spark and they're going to see that electricity and they're going to be like wait are you sailor moon they're going to be like wait are you like the nine tails the eight tails the seven tails gin cherokee wait are you the hokage <laughs> are you the hokage wait wait is that you did you go did you go super saying like that? Because that means you just leveled. You you just went to a different level. Somebody says, like, what does that mean? Does that mean I have like a million dollars? If you wanted it, did you manifest it? Somebody says, Does that mean that I just have my own profitable business? Wait, did you want that? Because you need to manifest that. Somebody says, really, I just wanted to have my life centered around my relationships. Meaningful relationships. Write that down. Write that down and read that. Continue reading, writing, speaking. Speak that into existence. Write that down. Pray on that. It's going to come to fruition, but be be very aware. Be careful what you ask for. Be very careful what you ask for. Let me tell you what I asked for. Let me tell you what I asked for. Um, I asked the... Oh my gosh. I asked for a lot of things, but I asked, I asked the Lord. I said, wow, I understand that I have this type of personality. I understand that I um, have the campaigner personality. I have the 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 championer, the, uh, the 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 maverick type of personality. The one that goes against the grain. The one the one who is so self reliant and somebody who values his freedom over uh, money. I value my freedom over you know a lot of things. I value my own journey. More so than the traditional, conventional individual who likes to stick with what he or she knows. And I want to stay by my close friends and close family. And I want to stay with my neighborhood that I know where everything's are. I want to stay in my environment where I know where everything's are. And I want to stay in that job where I know what's going to happen every single day. And I am safe. I am safe here. I am stable here. I am secure here because those S's mean the most to me. Stability, security, safety. That's what I want. But I'm over here. I'm on the other side. They might call me a maverick. They might call me a tyrant. They might call me a they might call me a challenger. Why? Because you want to you want to put yourself in the most uncomfortable positions. Not only do you want the uncomfortable positions or feelings or environments, you welcome it and you look for it. You search for it. Well, let me tell you what I asked for. I said, "Lord, I have these I have this personality and I understand that I want to be uh, I'm I'm going to change lives in the in the in the realm of business and entrepreneurship but it's not i don't I, I don't i don't have a desire for the for the financial for the financial gain like the money that is coming to me the wealth that is coming is for you it's it's, it's for you it's for the community it's for the people i said lord i'm gonna be an oligarch lord i'm gonna be i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna be a tycoon lord i'm gonna i'm gonna be I'm gonna be a. I am a philanthropist. I'm, I am gonna have the. I'm gonna have an abundance of resources. But it's 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 really the mindset. It's really the psychology. What are you gonna be doing with this abundance of resources? What are you gonna do with the abundance of wealth? What are you gonna do with it? You are gonna be a magnate. You are gonna be a tycoon. I said, Lord. I said, really, what I want to do? I want to inspire. I want to inspire the people. But I really want to. I want. I want to. I want to give self-esteem. I want. I want to give encouragement. 
I want to pass confidence. I want to establish confidence. I want to, I want to scale confidence, self-esteem. I want to scale it to immeasurable heights because a lot of people are missing it. A lot of people are missing it. And, and, and through my life, my, my drawbacks, my hindrances, the, the, my, my barriers, my, my encumbrances was because I was too, I'm not going to say I had too much self-esteem and there's no such thing as that, but if somebody will say I was so confident, I wasn't, util I wasn't utilizing my confidence in a constructive way. I, was, I wasn't utilizing my, my fearlessness. And it's not that I'm fearless. It's just the fact that like, if I have fear in something, that means I'm heading in the right direction. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. And like, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm fearful of something, that means, bro, like, I need to face it like, straight the fuck up like, right now. Like, so because I'm that way, it's like, yo, Gabe, you need to take that leadership, that campaigning lifestyle, that campaigning, challenging uh, you know, ideology perspective, and you need to disseminate it in constructive and in, in a conducive way, right? And if you and if there's so many young ladies, if there's so many young women, there's so many young males, there's so many young men, young gentlemen who are competent, they're intelligent, they're industrious, they've aligned their mind, their body and their soul, they're working on reading, writing, speaking, they're working on their health, wealth and wellness. Gabe, you need to take your gifts of confidence and self-esteem and pass that on. Pass that on. Dish that like an assist. Dish that. Dish it. Dish it. Dish it. So I've been working on that. I've been working on that. And I've been praying on that. And the Lord told me, like, you better, you better be careful what you ask for because you're asking for a lot of attention from these women. And when they come around, you better know how to receive that attention. You better know what to do with that attention. You better know you, you need to have the wisdom and the spirit of discernment. Because some women really want that energy. Some people really want that confidence. Some people really want to scale their confidence and self-esteem to intertwine their spiritual gifts and their and their meaningful work. And they want to come together and, and, and align themselves with their purpose. But there's going to be some women that may say, hey, 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 we heard about all that tough talk, but we want to see some other things, Gabe. We, we, want, to, we want to know what you're about. Uh, we heard that you were keen. We, we heard that you, uh, you're, you're the femininity cheerleader. You love divine feminine. Well, show us what that's about behind closed doors we want to see what that's about but before i said lord be prepare me for that but i mean on the other sense of that on the other on the other coin to flip the coin on the other side i have to go to my weaknesses i had to go to i had to go to my struggles boom there was a time whereby i was at a club a nightclub called Lynx. this is when i was living in shanghai this is a, you know a different chapter in my life not too long ago but previous chapters boom i was out there and uh, let's just say, you know, I was coming in hot at that time, you know, well, I'm coming in hot all the time. And this is me like sober drinking water. But like this is back whenever I was waking and baking, afternoon and baking, going out and baking at nighttime, baking, rolling the weed, mixing it with the hash, drinking and copious, drinking copious beers before I got to the bar. I'm, I'm literally dr getting drunk before we go to the bar. Getting to the bar, drinking, 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 then going to the next bar, to the next club, and that was like everyday life. Who drinks before they go to the bar? Evidently me. All right, so, and my crew, okay? And that's why we were turned up, all right? So, we were going to this spot called Lynx, and, and by this time, we were, we're, we're on it. We're, we're blasted, you know what I'm saying? I'm out of control. Like I mean, I don't even know how how I how I, how I pulled up on homegirl, but it was really like what we call um, autopilot. You know, like you're driving a Tesla and it can just drive itself. Like when you're flying an airplane and it just flies itself. Well, motherfucker, I was my 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 mind was gone, but I was on autopilot. And um, I remember approaching a, a young woman, and she was very beautiful, very attractive. And um, I got her number. And I don't even remember the next morning I saw her on my WeChat and I was like, whoa, she's she's stunning. And uh, long story short, a few days later, we had a dinner um, at a local bar called Windows. Windows is popping. I don't know if Windows still is a big thing in Shanghai. It probably is. They had a lot of locations. Um, we had some food and probably on our second date, we went back to Lynx where we met initially. <sighs> Homegirl had, she was stunning. She was stunning, very beautiful. She had a, she had an aesthetic that I found to be my type. Um, she was from, she wasn't from Shanghai, but she was Chinese, and she had a body that was quite a, uh, quite statuesque. She was built, 
And um, I just remember seeing her that second time, and I was like, whoa. Well, at, 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 at length, she had on a, like a cat suit. I don't know if it was like Halloween time. Maybe it was Halloween, but it, it was something like this. But Homegirl had a full on one piece leather cat suit with the fishnet stockings, with the zipper that stopped here, and her her bosom was just presented to the to the universe like this and i'm talking homegirl was on it homegirl had the cat the cat ear she was legitimate top notch top model chinese cat woman killing the game in the city i'm talking i was turning heads in that motherfucker with homegirl and it was we were dancing i'm talking and and i'm and we're, we're turned well, at least I was, and I'm, we're we're drinking the whiskey, and I'm already on one, and I'm we're dancing, and we're turning up, and we're showing face, or at least I'm showing my face, and things are good, things are good, and I told you I met her first time, got her number, don't remember because I was blacked out. Second time we went on a dinner date, it was cool. This is our third time meeting, so you already know how I was feeling. You already know how I was feeling. I'm already turned to, and we're already dancing. Homegirl has the leather and lace cat woman outfit. It was all aligned. It was all aligned for somebody like me. For anybody. Third date, it's aligned. It's aligned. Do you know by the end of the night? Do you know by the end of the night? I saw Homegirl like talking to one of her friends. Or the or one maybe some of the guys that she knew at the bar. Because he frequented that bar. So she knew the staff. And she knew the people who worked there. And she knew the people uh, who probably owned the bar. Not probably, she did. So, um, I remember talking to her and saying, man, let's get out of here, you know? Your your apartment is across the street, like, literally, like, across the street. So, man, let's get out of here. And she looked up at me, and we were having a good time. We were dancing the whole time. I'm, I'm this close to her face and stuff, and, you know, I was with her the whole time. And she looked at me and was like, do you think you're going to have sex tonight? Or, or did you, do you think you're going to you're gonna go home with me tonight? Did you think you were going to go home with me tonight? And I looked at her, and I said, yes. I said, yes. I mean, that's exactly what I thought. I, I did think. She was like, wait, you thought you were going to have sex tonight? Yes. I did think that. Do you know, homegirl stamped her fucking foot like this, shook her fist at me, was like, and she was shaking her head. She was furious. She was furious, not in the sense of like throwing things at me, but you could tell like, ding, 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 Gabe, that is not the right answer. Eh, 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 eh. Wrong answer, bro. Wrong fucking answer. She looked at me like you cannot be serious. She looked at me, was like, no, shaking her head, shaking her fist, stumping her feet like, no, bro. No, Gabe. No, that is not what I wanted to hear. That is not what any woman wants to hear. No woman, I don't care if they say the truth sets you free. I don't give a fuck if they say radical transparency sets you free. I don't care if they say you're rewarded for your honesty. I was not. I have not been rewarded for my honesty with women for years, bro. Years at that time. At that time, my honesty was shooting me in the fucking foot. The, not the foot. I was just shooting myself all the way down. She looked at me like, no. That cannot be your answer. No woman wants to hear from a guy that they expect to have sex with them. Their expectation was for you to have sex with them. Even if it was the second date, first date, tenth date, third date, whatever. It doesn't matter if her apartment was there. And it literally was. It doesn't matter if she had on the leather and lace cat suit with the breast poking you in the fucking eye, Gabe. You do not insinuate. And you didn't insinuate shit. You directly said, yes, I did expect to have sex. I... I, I looked at her with the same disbelief like, what else would we be doing tonight? What else? Why else did you think I'm here at 2.30 in the morning, drunk as fuck at the club? Why, why else do you think I came out here on a taxi? Do you know homegirl took me by the hand, walked me to the front, walked me outside, took me by the hand after she shook her hand and brought me to the front of the club, brought me outdoor, brought me to the, brought me to the front of the front of the fucking club where the bouncer was and dropped me off. Like, as if it was her house. Like, as if the club was her house. But like, bro, you gotta go. You gotta go. 
you, you gotta go. Like, like she called it. Like the taxi was out there for like, yo, take this guy, get the guy on the taxi, and she stood there was like, and of course that was the last time I saw her. But like, so guys, I tell you my truth. I tell you my struggles. Now, of course, this was maybe five years ago, uh, four years ago. But the truth of the matter is, I maybe five years ago. The truth of the matter is, like, you have to work on your 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 psychology in regards to women. There is nothing wrong with 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 having a a fiery burning desire for women. But if your expectations or if you have uh, a, a, a pejorative or a negative mindset, ideology, psychology, uh, a, emotional uh, understanding of women, then you will lose every time. It doesn't matter what you look like. It don't matter how cool you think you are. It doesn't matter how many what gold or earrings or or money that you think you have. You're you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose because girls don't like that. Girls don't like it at all. And I'm and I'm glad that I'm here now to be a femininity cheerleader. I'm glad I am working now to improve and and to improve confidence for guys, but mostly for for guys so they can interface with women in a better way than I did. I don't want you to make the same mistakes that I did. I've been rejected, dejected, put down, talked about, thrown out of clubs, <laughs> got thrown out of apartments, uh, not even got into the front door of the apartment, had, had doors closed in my face, uh, many, like hundreds of times. I mean, I'm telling you guys the reason why I am this person is because of the 10,000 hours. When somebody talks about Malcolm Gladwell and the motherfucker, like I put in my 10,000 hours in courting women and within my 10,000 hours, I have the experience of not getting any play of not converting anything or not having the magical oh you took her home that night and things went down like no 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 my 10,000 hours are in the opposite end of the spectrum and that's why I can give you this story that's why I have hundreds of stories like that. that's why that's why I'm this way because I want to improve the psychology and the and the and the psyche of a lot of young men and a lot of young women, because a lot of young women might be going out and they don't and they don't realize why guys are, are a certain way. They they might think like, why do guys only focus on this? Why do guys only think like this? Why do guys expect certain things like this? And take my stories if you want to, and with a grain of salt, because every guy is not like me. I understand that I'm a bit on the polar end of the spectrum, but there are characteristics, there are elements of my story and my personality that you will find in a lot of men. And um, it's, <laughs> it takes me to be almost 30 years old to start to like almost like get my nose above water to understand like how much work I have I have in the future for me to be, you know, OK and conducive to the feminine environment.